Hi, I'm Rabbi Ariel Rakovsky, reporting live from the fire escape of the Jewish Center. Welcome to Parsha Ponderables. In describing the mitzvah bringing korbanos and the Torah's usage of the word Adam, human being, which is not a common usage, a number of commentaries say that this doesn't just refer to any human being, it refers to Adam Harisha, refers to the first human being. Just as Adam brought from those things that belong to him, so too we should bring, when it comes to offering sacrifices, from those things that belong to us. The question is obvious. How could Adam not bring something that belonged to him? He was the only human being, and any property ownership was his own. He was the one who owned everything. So how is this paradigmatic? Shimon Schwab explains that it's not so much a question of ownership, it's a question of sacrifice. Adam Arishon did own everything, all the property that there was to be owned. And therefore, whenever he brought a sacrifice, it was something that hurt. It was something that he had to give up. And so too, in our lives, we have to, we want to get close to Hashem. That involves a willingness to sacrifice and to give up the things that hurt, the things that are sometimes are meaningful for us. Certainly living a religious, committed existence can be one of sacrifice. Our challenge is to find those things and invest them with meaning, things for which we are willing to sacrifice of ourselves, of our enjoyment, of our finances, whatever the case may be, and to invest them with a sense of meaning, a sense of purpose, and getting closer to Hashem. Of course, that is just one answer. I wish each and every one of you a Shabbat Shalom as you discuss it at your Shabbat tables.